Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to vlog. I have been trying to vlog for like over a week and you guys life has just been crazy and I have not even posted on YouTube and I feel so bad. Um, but it's the holiday season and everything is crazy. I'm also really sad that I guess we're not gonna do Vlogmas this year. Um, it's just really hard, especially this year like with the baby and we have a lot of things planned. Come on, bubby. Letting Diesel inside. Oh, he just stepped on my shoes with dirty feet. Oh my gosh. You know how hard it is to keep white sneakers white? And then when you do a good job, and your dog comes in with mud on their feet and steps on them. Oh my gosh. Either way, I'm sorry. Let me give him this treat. So either way, it's just very a busy December for us. I feel like December is busy for everyone every year, um, but this year I feel like it just feels extra busy. So it is Monday. Jay and I leave for New York on Thursday and I have to run to Target and get a few things. I have some work to do as well. Um, I've been doing laundry this morning and um, emails. And yeah, we had a very successful Black Friday <laughs> cyber weekend. Um, Jay and I did, we got a lot of baby stuff ordered. Um, so I'm excited to show you all of that when it comes in. It is, some things come in as soon as like next week and then some things are back ordered. So that's totally fine. We have until April, so that's good. But yeah, I'm gonna go to Target. I'm gonna keep this intro a little bit shorter, but what, since we aren't gonna do Vlogmas, I'm just gonna try to vlog as much as I can um, and post whenever I can. I just don't think like that I can commit to a video a day. I would be terrible at that. <laughs> All right, I just got out of Target. Um, I ran in for like one or two things and I came out with a ton, which actually works. I usually do our grocery shopping at Whole Foods, but we're only gonna be here Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And chances are Wednesday we'll probably get like takeout or something because just I don't want to have to like clean up a whole big cooking mess after or before we leave for New York so it'll be easier to clean everything up and just get like takeout or something either way I got a few things for dinner I got some diapers <laughs> um, I try to buy them whenever I'm out well, actually I don't try this is like a new thing that I'm doing I'm gonna try to buy them and um, just a few other random bits. So I'll share with you what I got. I got like some travel, like tissues and um, like a travel lotion so that way I don't have to pack my whole lotion and everything like that. So that's what I got at Target, not very exciting. And now I'm gonna run by the bank and then I'm gonna run home. I don't know, I feel like the thing with this pregnancy, it's, I've struggled so much because I feel like I have to eat like every three hours or less, which believe it or not, that goes by so quickly um so it's 12 35 and I've already eaten twice today and I'll probably need to eat again around like two so I'm gonna run to the bank run home and then I'll have like a snack or something then and I'm trying to eat a little bit better it's been very difficult <laughs> because all I want is carbs but I'm trying to eat a little bit healthier so we shall see I'm home now and honestly this starvation is no joke. I didn't make it as long as I thought I was going to and I ate leftover spaghetti casserole and I'm feeling really guilty because I know that's not healthy but all I had to do was warm it up and it was really good. So, third meal of the day and it's only like a little after two o'clock. Anyways, I wanted to share I'll share a few things that I got at Target in case you were curious. Let me see if I can put this down. My camera doesn't have, um, I'll just bend over. I need to put my tripod on my camera, my little like travel one. Either way, I got random things. So I bought some diapers. I bought uh, like a plastic bin that I'm gonna put some of our Christmas stuff in that I need for photos for a blog shoot. And I got some of these Summer's Eve wipes. I buy the individually packaged ones, so. You don't really need to know this. However, I do use these and I do like them. They're just really nice and sanitary to have. Or it's nice to be sanitary and to have these. That's that. You probably didn't want to know that, but now you do. I bought this Vaseline Intensive Care Spray Moisturizer, non-greasy. So first I put this in my cart, which is the Nivea Shea Daily Moisture 24-hour 
basically a travel size lotion. So I might end up bringing these both, but I found this in the travel section and I decided to buy it. And I'm thinking if I bring this, I might test it out later. If I bring this, I might not have to, I really don't want to travel with my stretch mark oil. We're only going to be gone from Thursday to Sunday, but I just feel like I don't want to pack an oil, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Either way, I might give this a go. I might just bring them both and like do a double whammy. I also bought some hand sanitizer. Purell is my favorite. I bought some tissues just in case I needed them or I'm just, I have really become like germ obsessed. So I got that. And then also I bought this at Target. So this is just basically like a diaper bag dispenser. That's what it says. Diaper bag dispenser and the little baggies so you can put your dirty diapers in there. <laughs> Very exciting baby stuff. Um, so that's basically what it looks like. I'm trying to buy like little things here and there whenever I can, so that is nice. Um, but we'll just see. Either way, I have some work to do. I have some laundry to do. I need to make the bed. Um, now I'm sleepy after I ate that spaghetti casserole. <laughs> and I was planning to shoot some photos today inside the house and now it is cloudy, which is how it always works out. Um, so, plus my photographer, Jay, left <laughs> to go to a work meeting. Um, so I'm gonna work on some laundry and make the bed, put all this stuff away and I'll check in in a little bit with you guys. So I'm just cooking some dinner now and I'm making one of my favorite recipes. I think I've made it like on several vlogs, but um, I'll show you how I make it. And I'm also gonna make, uh, -uh don't look out at the trash. Cheers. Um, I am making green beans, how my mom makes them. They're so good. They're so easy, you just can green beans. It's not like the healthiest recipe, Definitely the most delicious. Um, so I went ahead and I cooked two, or no, three pieces of bacon um, because I knew that this bacon cooks up quite like a bit. So now I'm gonna add some green beans. Doesn't have to be exact. I'm gonna add in two cans of green beans. I went ahead and turned the heat down too, even though it doesn't sound like it. Um, so I'm just gonna stir these around. Let's see. Okay, so I added in my two cans of green beans. You can use whatever you want. And you can like adjust this to make more. Um, this is how much I make for like Jay and I. And then I am going to add some chicken broth. And basically I'm just gonna cover the green beans and chicken broth. Add a little salt, a little pepper. Probably not too much salt because this bacon is like salty. You can just taste it um, and then just like simmer them for a while. Let's see if I can put you right here. It's kind of dangerous first can which actually kind of did it so I'm gonna um, keep an eye I'm gonna keep an eye on this and it looks pretty good right now I'm gonna add my pepper and a little bit of salt and as it simmers um, I might add a little bit more chicken broth I apologize for my messy kitchen um, and you're sitting on paper towel holders just to be able to see this which still not that great of an angle. Um, Cause I don't have my tripod, but I think I'm pretty sure I've shared how I make this chicken before, but it's changed over the years. This is a recipe that my mom makes that I absolutely love and I've changed it a little bit and added my own adaptations on it. So um, you can easily use cream of mushroom soup and cream cheese to just do this whole thing. But because I usually shop at Whole Foods and I don't like their cream of mushroom soup, I prefer the Campbell's. Um, I have found a new way to make it and I actually like this better. So what I do is I use two chicken breasts. You can use however many you want. Um, this, you can just double, triple, whatever the recipe, but it's really truly like just eyeballing it. And what I do with my chicken breasts is I cut them in half. So I've already done that. Sorry about this, there's raw meat if you're gonna see that. Um, I have a one like regular block, I think it's eight ounces of cream cheese. I just softened it in the microwave and then I just kind of mash it up with my fork. I have like a little pan and I just make it all in the pan. It's really easy. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add probably like two big spoonfuls of mayonnaise. Not a healthy recipe by any means. 
um, but it is like really delicious. And it, it pretty much uses like real ingredients. Obviously like the mayonnaise is kind of, you know, but it's not using like canned or packaged mix mixes or anything. Um, so I just mix these two together. Doesn't have to be perfect because it's gonna melt in the oven and it's gonna be delicious. And then stir up my sour cream. I usually just add about like one. That was on a very big one, so I'm gonna add two of the sour cream too. So you can just say two very heaping tablespoons. I would not measure. I would just use like your big spoon. Two big spoons of mayonnaise, two big spoons of sour cream. Mix it all together. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. I add in a can of mushrooms. And you can add more if you want. One can seems to do it for me. Mix those in. And then what I'm gonna do is take a chicken breast. I take like half, like I said, I cut mine in half. So I'm gonna take a piece of bacon and a chicken breast and just wrap it around, throw it in the pan. And then once I have them all in there, I'll just scoop the creamy sauce, put a big dollop on each one. It'll melt um, and once you put it in the oven, it all cooks together and then it's great with rice. You can, it kind of makes like a little gravy. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, so this is what it looks like, a mess. I'm gonna put it in the oven on 350 for probably about an hour or so. And then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I put some of the sauce on the rice too. And dinner is ready. Right, Corm? Dinner is set. <laughs> Hey guys, okay, so I forgot to end yesterday's vlog, so I wanted to go ahead and do that now, um, but I hope that it was okay. I'm sorry that we're not doing Vlogmas. I'm really hoping to be able to get some vlogs up, though, um, just not every day, so hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll be able to do that. We just have like a crazy um, kind of time right now. Uh, everything is really good, but we're just really busy, and um, so this gets pushed to the back burner, but... If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.